All right, just a quick few woodworking tip things here. This is the Lion Miter Trimmer. It's cast iron. Uh, you can cut wood at 45 degrees or 90. Uh, real simple sort of system here. Put your wood in here. Uh, if you have to cut a long piece, you want to cut it long and then bring it back and trim it because it just cuts cleaner if you have just a little bit of material beyond the cut that you want. But that's what it does. It'll give you a nice 45 there. And again, 90 degrees there. Although in this case, I'm cutting my 90s with this handheld one. Let me show you what that looks like. Both of these have 45s on it. You just put this in here, line that up with the 90 degree line, and... So it's a lot safer and, and not as much noise as using a chop saw all the time. Comes in handy. My old pal Roy Karch turned me on to this back in the 80s. I bought this over 20 years ago. It needs to be tuned. I need to shim this blade. I need to pop these off and hone them. I just haven't done it. I, I don't use it enough. I'm using it on this project. What I'm doing here is the shelf here. You saw the cleat system. And this is the front edge, and I'm trying to match a little bit the details that are on the existing mantle, which is you know, our design cue for this entire piece. The idea here is I'm going to be applying this little molding strip here to the front to kind of match what's going on on the mantle. So that'll look pretty sharp there. I already radiused these corners. I have to do 10 more shells with the radiuses, sand it out, apply these, cut them here first. It's an all-day project. It's killing me. You know, it's, it's one week just making these things before I even install them. I still have to make the 45 supports for it. There's a bunch of woodworking tips just on this table. Let's see if I can show this to you real quick. Right here's a box for storing router bits. This is a wine box. I just put a piece of wood in here, drilled some holes, holds the router bits. Half inch shanks are nicer, less... Uh, you know, vibration. I use the quarter inch and this little palm uh, router here, this is a base I put on, I use with round over bits. Normally you've seen my other Lucite base where it's open on one end with a straight bit. That's how I do my uh, removal material for my mortises or, you know, butterfly mortises. There's a tip here uh, with when you're doing hooking up any machine, mainly sanders, to a vacuum support that hose up in the air and have it come down. If it's on the floor, you can step on it and get caught on something. It can pull your machine into the wood and then that just uh, can put a mark in the wood you can't get rid of. But uh, here's a whole table full of woodworking tips right there, uh, including putting some jaws on your vise. Very important. Have a good day.